Afternoon YouTubes, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. A little GSXR update. Spent a full day on it today. Not that you would know. However, most importantly, a pair of front brake calipers. Rebuilt and ready to go. I know they're not painted. I'm not going to paint them at the moment. That can wait. I've got the... Uh, rear caliper to do uh, but the seal kit isn't here for that yet so that's something to do front brake mast cinder is on that's done I did find some nicer screws from the top if you saw the last ones I blew it over with a bit of black paint but I didn't prep it properly it does look a bit shit so I will take it off and strip it at some point what else have we done replace the I think horrible rear sets. I'm sure someone will love them and they will love and love them because they'll be up for sale but I now have a standard brake um, lever, foot peg and hanger. Rebuilt mast cylinder so that's all done. Obviously that needs bleeding through but it can't be bled through until there's a rear caliper. So that's that done. Panels. I've given the panels a bit of a mop and do you know what they haven't come up too bad I know they're not fantastic and they got dings and chips in but they are 40 odd years old apart from the fact they've been cut down apparently that was a thing back in the day but there you go not my sort of thing I've got to say grab rail is on but look lovely standard uh, number plate light cover thanks to Gary that's on and I think that looks bloody great stock indicators because it had well, it had these things on I should have given you a warning before I showed you them that's what we think of those so standard indicators they're on and again gave the panels this side a bit of a a bit of a mop as well only a quick one and they've not come up bad I need to get some touch up for that because I did peel that back and it is black underneath where there's a bit of a chip so I need to get this colour matched and get a touch up on there get that done so yeah that's today's update obviously it's had a bit of a clean underneath new battery battery tray has been given a clean and there's an optimate lead on there I run everything I've got on Optimates and then swap them around. So that is as we're going. I do have standard front indicators. But obviously there's no point fitting those until the fairing's on. Uh, I did bleed the clutch up and the clutch did bleed up. But it is quite heavy. And that's from someone that rides a Ducati. An old Ducati. Well known for heavy clutches. So that's going to need doing at some point. But other than that, we're getting there, slowly but surely. So I'll start, well I say I'll start at the back, I've just started anywhere that I can bolt it together. So the back end now, that's done. I need to give the seat a clean, give that a good polish, I don't know how to get the crap off of that. Because there is, as you can see, a colour change, where there has been a seat hump on. And then obviously no seat hump. So if you know how to clean vinyl seats, chuck something in the comments. But it's getting there and I'm really pleased with it. I haven't painted the wheels yet because I need to get some tyres. So they'll get ordered up because the standard tyres are the front one. I can't remember if I looked for a date code for the front tyre. Uh, can I see a date code? There's going to be one somewhere. Let's get a torch and have a look, shall we? I'm going to go for 20 years. Oh, is that a no? Uh, no. All right, I'm starting to bore myself now. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? There was a 99 there, but it was it an 0399? Uh, where was it? Uh, 
was it? 399. VLR 399. Normally they're four digits. But to be fair, that's probably about the right age. However, the rear tyre. Now you have got to see this to believe it. Considering we have an 1100cc motorcycle that puts out, what, 125 horsepower? Let's wheel this out in a bit of light so you can see. Someone at some point put this on it. Conk, oh, what is it? Concord? It is a Concord, but if you can read that, tubeless radial retread. It is a fucking retreaded tire. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Someone has put, I didn't even know motorcycle tires were retreaded, you know? Yeah. Tubeless radial retread Concord. And the date on that is 2700. So that's the 27th week of the year 2000. So we know where that's going to be going. Made in Great Britain. Mm. Oh, look at that. See that? Recycled project product. Well, that will be recycled. It will rec be recycled straight into the bin because I'm not even going to run the bike down the road with that on it because I've already got visions of tread flying off. So that isn't going anywhere except the dustbin. And it still staggers me that someone will put a retreaded motorcycle tire on the back of a GSXI 1100. But hey, it takes all sorts. So, that's where we are today. Again, the workshop's a bit messy because I've just finished. But that's where we are. If pits arrive tomorrow, I might well do the rear caliper, bleed that up. Um, I might chuck the back wheel in just to move it around. And then I've got fork seals to do, front brake to do as well, get that bled up. So, the video will either end here or there'll be a little bit on the end, which will be tomorrow. So, take care, everybody. As a, oh, as a Harley goes down the lane. If you're riding, stay safe. If you're not riding, watch crap videos of old duffers reliving their youth on bikes that they couldn't afford when they were 18. Right, I'll either see you soon or I'll see you in a few seconds. Take care, everybody. Quick addition to the end of the last video. As it's a couple of days later, and obviously you probably saw me muttering about that god awful tyre that someone chucked on the back of this, on the back of the GSXR. Yeah, less said about that the better. However, Posty Courier has delivered to me some nice new Bridgestone Battleaxe BTO 23s. They're like a sports touring tyre. It's not an out and out sports bike anymore, is it? Hey, it's not gonna do anything super fast. So these tires will be more than capable in the correct sizes. Oh, why does it say 17? Oh, fuck it. That could be a problem. Did I misread the thing? I think I've got the wrong size rear tire. Oh. Let's go back and have a look at that, shall we? Bugger. Right then, I've had a check of the listing. And the listing clearly says, front tire, 110.80.018. Perfect, spot on. Rear tire says 150.70.ZR17. 70, I missed the 17, didn't I? That should be an 18. Dalt. So the seller is Sticky Stuff Tires, they accept returns, so I'm going to send them a message today and see if they do an 023 in the right size for the rear, and if so I'll just send the rear back and get that swapped over, with a bit of money either way no doubt. Uh, if not, I'll have to go back and hunt for a pair of tires. And see what else we come up with so there's a lesson for us all read the listing properly Dope.
yeah right anyway there'll be an update to follow at some point i'm sure <laughs> catch you all soon cheers mate right 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 i'm back right i've been on the phone to sticky stuff tires who were the suppliers for these lovely bridgestone 023s be even lovely if they're in the right size my mistake completely nothing to do with sticky stuff tires however gave me a call absolutely top blokes i explained the problem got on the phone said absolutely not an issue mate just start the return on ebay um stick a label on and send them back he said do it on ebay because it's a bit cheaper for postage and he was right it was um nine pounds something so all i've got to do is print the label off tape them up as a pair again take them to the post office and that's job done so i had a chat with him and said what have you got in the correct sizes as in the front's fine but the rear should be a 15070 zr 18 and he said your options are a little bit limited because obviously that's an old size i half expected that he had a look on the bridgestone page and said funny enough bridgestone now recommend a 16060 in the bt023 so obviously bridgestone have done their homework they're a tire company they're not going to recommend something that isn't right they recommend that you can fit a 16060 funny enough when i go back to this one this fucking god awful to retread thing it is a 16060 so there you go um, in the past someone has obviously come up with the same issue of tire sizes and that's what they've done so sticky stuff tires in telford in shropshire absolutely top blokes i've ordered a new pair of tires which should be with me the next day or two in the correct sizes so i can then start the project again and uh get that done exhaust update standard exhaust in nice condition unfortunately doesn't fit because it hits the sump on the 1127 motor so it hangs down low and i don't like that i like it to fit right however a mate of mine zach who used to drag race might have a pipe that will fit so i'm popping over at his house tomorrow having a look at it i think it's an eagle it won't be cheap because it is a nice decent pipe but if that fits um, i'll bring it home test fit it if it fits i'll haggle and send him some money and then i may well sell this one because otherwise it's just going to sit around gathering dust i'm not going to use it there's almost no point in keeping it so i'll probably send that back so that's the update as it is you'd have seen all this loveliness and the little cook polish so yeah a few more days let's get the wheels done i probably will paint the wheels now while the tires off i'll give it a degrease and i'll probably paint them black because i've got the black mirrors to go on and make it look nice but a definite thumbs up for sticky stuff tires in shropshire telford in shropshire um, give them a call i can't remember their number it begins with a zero give them a call and uh, they're very helpful it probably took him about 10 minutes to go through the books to look at all the options and to give me the best options which was really good of him because it saved me a lot of homework on um on the internet all done for me so yeah sticky stuff tires nice guys to deal with right then next update hopefully you'll see a little bit more progress you'll see a correct set of tires on a black set of wheels i might even get the forks out all right take care everyone catch you soon